Hey friends, today I wanted to share something freaking amazing that I found on Instagram and I ended up really loving it. It's kind of so questionable because it seems so freaking fantastic, if that makes any sense. If you guys don't know me, welcome to my channel. My name is Gia. I'm the creator of Do It Well. At Do It Well, we make crave-worthy protein treats like cinnamon holes and bread. <laughs> and today, I'm introducing to you Daring Foods. Okay, so, to, to the deal. I was just scrolling through Instagram, as one normally does, and I found this advertisement on Daring Foods, which is basically a vegan version of chicken. It's 1000% not chicken. See that right there? So I thought I'd give it a whirl. I actually um, hesitated a little bit because the price point was a little bit on the hefty side, perhaps. I got six of these bags for $50, but what was amazing is actually it was free shipping. So um, it rounded out to maybe about eight or nine dollars per bag, which is not so bad if the quality of the product is actually what it says it is. Um, the pack that I got was, the combo that I got was their Cajun, lemon and herb, and the original. The Cajun and the lemon and herb, or the Cajun and the original are already gone except for the Cajun that's on my plate. Um, but this is what the size of a package looks like. There is uh, about 2.5 or about 3 uh, servings per bag. And the macros on these things are amazing. The original ones are even um, smaller macros than this. But if you even take a look at the lemon and herb one, the fat is... I can't see if you, can, you guys can see that. The fat is... Um, 2 grams, carbs 7 grams, and protein 13 grams. The other reason I like these guys is because they don't have crap ingredients in there. Don't mind the moisture, it's coming from the freezer. They don't have crap ingredients in the product, so even before cooking it, you're thinking, oh, this is already good quality stuff, right? When this came to me, it was really cute. Look at this box, it's so cute. It says, all around it says daring. <laughs> and what I really liked is that their product has to be kept frozen and so what they're really thoughtful the box comes super insulated i think with that foam inside there um and the product itself is frozen and it just has all this stuff in here so just try to keep it frozen through the shipment the only downside about the packaging is that there is so much packaging it's plastic foam um that's the downside to it it did, I think, take over a week for it to be delivered to me, and I don't know if that's normal. Maybe they had a backlog, or if that's just kind of what it is, right? So make sure that when you're ordering it, if you order it, that you allow for the time frame for it to actually be delivered to you, and you're not off somewhere and not able to access your mailbox or something, right? Okay, so let's get down to the food. This flavor that I have here is the Cajun one. When you take it out of the bag, these are actually the shapes that they come in. So they're just different sort of like chicken piece shapes, right? And what you do, their instruction is to cook it on medium high heat for 12 minutes on both sides until it gets brown. So when you first open it, it's actually going to be pretty pale and then the cooking turns it brown. This is the lemon and herb coming straight out of the bag. So you can see it's really pale compared to the cooked Cajun version. You see? Let's go ahead and talk about the flavors. So the original, you would think it might be a little bit bland, but it's not, it's actually freaking good. Um, they still do put some flavor in there so it doesn't taste like, let's say, bland chicken. Um, and then the Cajun one, I was thinking that it might be so strong, maybe pungent, maybe a little too spicy, but it isn't, it's just freaking amazing. Let me show you what the texture is like. Again, this is the Cajun that I cooked just on the skillet based with their instructions. I spritzed just a tiny bit of oil to make sure it doesn't stick to the pan. And then this is also the Cajun that I cooked with just some jerk sauce, Jamaican jerk sauce that I made at home. I'll show you, take a look at this guys. When you cut into it, it does have layers, very similar to chicken. It's kind of eerie because it's like, it looks so much like chicken if you look at it close up especially. And it also shreds. You can shred it like chicken. Can you see how it just sort of shreds like chicken? I mean, that's kind of surreal, isn't it? 
granted it's been like I don't know like three plus years since I've eaten chicken but the texture is very eerily similar to chicken in fact I cooked it the other night for my husband and I didn't cook it to the point where it was super or as dark brown as this guy and my husband said that it had the texture of raw chicken so that's kind of pretty amazing again this is the Cajun it's got a very good bite there's that sort of meaty resistance but it's vegan <laughs> you can feel the layers in your mouth and you can feel the um flavors definitely taste the flavors definitely and then like i said yesterday i took um some of this cajun um daring chicken and marinated for a little while in jerk sauce that i made at home home and i what i wanted to do that to see if it would actually take on the flavors like a normal chicken would have and you could see that the, the the jerk sauce does go through to the different layers it's freaking good guys you know th i think this is going to be one of the things that's going to be a staple in the home i'm not going to have it every day because i don't want to get tired of it but it's certainly delicious um it's worth the money in my opinion because i haven't seen anything like this like i, I love things like if I was looking for easy prepped food, then Gardein Beyond um, Beyond Meat, I like those brands. But this is freaking something else. I'll link their website down in the description box below. And if you guys have tried it, put it in the comments below. Let me know how you prepared it. Or if you have any other vegan um, meat alternatives that you really love, put it in the comments below. Share it with me. I'd love to know. Okay, guys, that's all I wanted to share with you today. If you liked this video, if it was helpful for you, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I hope this was helpful, guys. Have a great day. Bye.